Hello there and happy Easter to everyone. I don't know when this video is going to come up, so maybe it's late or maybe it's sooner than Easter. But anyway, it's me again, Mountain General, again in this dungeon called Hearts of Iron 4. Today with a interesting twist and turn because we are going to South America. And we will be playing a mod called Ashes of Libertad. It is still in demo, but it is a mod with the potential to make South America interesting. Not again, but but for the first time. So yeah, if you enjoyed today's video and you are not subscribed then fucking do it because we are close to 100,000 subscribers and I can't wait to snort cocaine off of my silver YouTube play button. Now we are greeted by the dilemma of what country will we play here and it is quite obvious that we will play the Arcre Republic or how you are supposed to fucking say it. And yeah, if you can see South America got uh, Balkan by a nuclear war if I'm not mistaken here. I'm just reading that from the logo of the mod. So now when they say you are going to Brazil, they will have to be more specific if you are going to fourth Brazilian Republic or Brazilian military junta. Yeah, shit's looking pretty good like in warlord era in China. You also have a lot of native people here in the forests and also Cuba. Well, uh, it looks rather interesting indeed. It is just a mishmash fighting and even Castro is here. Look at my man here looking like a doom voyak emoji. And yeah, America is no more. It is just on the please stand by mode. What the fuck the good ending? And yeah, pretty much Mexico is still in one piece, Chile and Argentina. And maybe Uruguay too. And Paraguay. But other than that, you still have here the Americans trying to survive, but we will see how it will go down. But anyway, let's get back to our little nice republic. You know, I don't really like the location of our little state here deep in the Amazon rainforest and surrounded by weird neighbors. We are even neighboring a sentient fucking peak. Also our neighbor to the south is Mr. Che Guevara. Yeah, we are in for a wild ride here. It's always a good sign when you are ruled by a fucking building. Anyway, we are just asking the important question. How did we get here. And yeah, I feel like this is just a lore dump, so read it if you want. I'm just going raw, no rub on. Now, if you say so, the Republic reborn, hopefully, we will be able to make Brazil united again. Now, after all these event focuses, now I feel like we will choose the fate of our country. Ah, yes. Yet another lore dump. And slowly but surely we will build our republic up against the red menace of Che Guevara. We shall fight in the jungles as a monkeys. Yes, we have fully returned to monkey here. And here we can see the first conflict here in Peru. And I feel like slowly but surely there will be shit happening all around here. Now we will also do the Senate of Rio Branco. Because now there is the general's dark plan. Phase 1, become the president. And yeah, basically people will be battling over the seats here. You have here three factions, the militants, technocrats and nationalists. You know, I feel like that we should support. Support. Mr. Edgar who is the militarist guy here. Why the hell not? And yeah, this is where the fun begins. Let's push our country to all adult surf so we can have as many people as possible. Also yeah, let's strengthen our guy with those another two seats for the militants. Ah, uh, interestingly, even the Nueva Castilla, a monarch is Peru is making their moves on Lima. And yeah, what the fuck? What the fuck is Askashik society? There is some shady shit going on. That that nuclear explosion did some uh, irreversible things to South America, I see. Oh, Lima siege by private mercenary army. Oh, what do you say? Another militia that is using Indian symbols of peace. Hmm, how original. Wink, wink. Ah, yes, a good old general protest. Yes, we will go for the militarists. Thank you very much. Now, for the constitution, we will make everyone equal because everyone will equally serve in our army. But we will control the press because 1984 has to be achieved. Ah yes, state press. A very nice 1% recruitable population, so let's go. So now we have to choose between rights of man or ruining our society.
society by industry, I'm going for the good old industry boys. Fuck you, Fyodor Kaczynski. Please don't mail me any pipe bombs. Now yeah, let's rule this shit with an iron fist for fisting. Now let's go for the power of the senate. Now we are only asking the important questions here. We will grant the seat to the militarists, thank you very much. And even Brazil looks like that it will unify one day. Ok, I just skipped a very nice interesting super event, but basically there is a war between these two factions, the Brazilian brown and green faction. And now after everything important was done, we will sign the good old constitution. Now we are truly the new republic. And yeah, it unlocked a new focus tree. So it is time to prepare our nation to expand. Yeah, our army will be great. Oh yeah, the base in Argentina is just going for their Falkland Islands. And hopefully in this post-nuclear war world, the Argentinians can succeed. Hopefully Margaret Thatcher is long dead. Ding dong, the wicked bitch is gone. No joke, JK is back. Well, it would be nice if I could read the whole thing. But oh well, I'm slowly preparing for a little incursion here, but it will take a while because we are chewing through the focuses here and yeah we have to do some more preparation until we can go to the south hey yo cuba leave the fucking pirates alone <laughs> this is the funniest shit ever like i would love to play this country when it gets focus tree hopefully ah yes the most terrifying event the silence is very loud with this one. Oh hey guys look at my look at my insert comment give me please reddit gold yeah this man is just getting fisted from every side Right. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. You know, if we look at our senate, this thing doesn't add up. We have 23 seats here, right? 22 are occupied by the militarists, technocrats owe us 2 seats, and nationalists hold 9 seats. I don't feel like the math adds here. Now the senate is no more. Finally fix that seat problem. Now this is what I have been talking about, the interesting super event. You just click this and boom, you are greeted by this shit. So yeah. Yeah, slowly but surely conflict is spreading all around here. Shit is really going down everywhere here. Yeah, no one in Brazil is truly safe. Oh yeah, now even the Mexico has fell into a good old anarchy. And yeah, the USA is kinda back. Back from the dead, I see. Now we will just rename our republic and then finally we will be ready for a thing called a little trolling. A little war to the south. So finally I will test out my new grand army. Our size is pretty ridiculous. I have been preparing for like 2 years now. I have 36 divisions and they only have like I think 8. Yeah we are just crushing them like they are nothing. Yeah no more commie shit here. Not on my watch. Hey yo, what the fuck? This is just a huge scam. Fucking Bolivian stole my land. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't gain anything. And yeah, this is the end of the demo. Yeah, pretty much everything that we can do. Well, I had a pretty good time and got a little taste of what's to come next. So I'm pretty excited for this mod because I feel like it has a lot of potential in exploring post-nuclear war South America. It's kinda cool, not gonna lie. Oh yeah, when we selected the end, it switched us to be French. The worst fate man can suffer. You know that this mod has a lot of potential when you see anarchist native Brazilian Americans. Because why the fuck not? And also, there is a CIA with uh, Mr. We don't know. And he is residing in a city redacted with another city called Redacted. So if you enjoyed this video and want to see me play this mod when it uh, gets more content, don't forget to slap a like. And also subscribe so we can get to those 100,000 subscribers. And as always, big thanks goes to my channel members, their names are in the description and on the screen right now. And a special thanks goes to the Laminator and Razonon for being the highest channel members.